go. Yeah. Yeah. Flow. I like that. I like that a lot. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Um, reminiscing about the times that uh, used to go to jiu-jitsu and now I don't. And uh, <laughs> and it's uh, it's sad. It's getting sadder and sadder. My you know? favorite call was when you called me and you're like, my throat's been hurting for like two, three days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, did somebody choke you for the first time? You're like, yeah, but that was two days ago. Yeah, you, because it's weird because the, the feeling you feel, it's like a, it's like a bad, uh, it's like sore throat. It's like a, either, yeah. like depending on how bad you got choked, you could be strep mm -hmm. throat or you can just have a regular, just a, a slight, yeah. a slight uh, throat. But it's, you know, it's everything is the same as an actual as cold. A, so you feel like the rest of your body is like, should we runny nose? Like, should that, should we? <laughs> <laughs> we can't, and they're like, know. no, you should, you should lift some more weights because uh, a man dominated you. <laughs> yeah, man. No, I know, man. Everybody misses jujitsu. Everybody, yeah, I miss basically everything. Mm -hmm. Honestly, watching the election was one of the normal things I've done. Because I normally do that. I don't really sit down and ever watch the news. Like, mm -hmm. I read it. Mm -hmm. But sitting down and watching, like, Fox News and then CNN and CTV, it was, it was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed that. You did, eh? Well, I mean, uh, it was extremely extra. No, not in any real way. But I enjoyed the like. I would do this every four years, and I got to do that. That's right. what I liked about okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. Because like the CNN graphics and stuff, that's uh -huh. fun. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, has this come along? Have you seen the CNN graphics? Uh, no, I was just doing the Google thing. I was watching Google. Like there was a Google page that that was yeah. doing the up to upgrade updates by itself. I, di I didn't look oh, at I anything gotcha. else. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want anything more. I think. Oh, I wanted like somebody from Fox News to give me their spin of what was happening. Man, I, I, you know what? I, I was uh, for, for some reason I was stressed. Hold on, I gotta turn on the light. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, man. Nobody can see you with your red pajamas. All right, now I look like a human being. That was weird. No, it's all right, man. You always look like a human being to me. Thank you. Uh, like, yeah, sorry. No, I was stressed, dude. I couldn't, I couldn't, there was only so much, like I didn't, I knew something was, and you, I just know something else is going to go wrong. It's not going to, like I, I was anticipating bad things were going to happen. So I, I almost didn't want to take it too seriously. And I feel like if I watched it in news, <laughs> like from news uh, <laughs> sources, I'm going to take, I'm going to internalize like the stress and stuff like that. So I didn't watch that. I watched it with uh, Joe Rogan. They were, they, they had like this, uh, like the end of the world podcast number two. And mm -hmm. that was fun because he had a real analyst yeah. and then he, he had a comedian and it had Joe. So mm. that's two to one, not taking anything too seriously. So it was just enough, like there was some fact checking, but it was also, yeah. <laughs> I did just they explain? Continue. Did they explain why Florida goes so conservative every time? No, go ahead and tell me. Okay, Cubans is part of it. Also old people, obviously. Cubans. But Cubans out of all the minorities are mm. the most conservative. And, okay. you know, they come from Cuba to Florida. Right. And they just become really conservative immediately after because they're like, we've been under socialist regimes. Mm -hmm. Also, we don't like abortions and they screw it up every time but this time i mean i can't believe it frankly i, I went to bed election night and i thought that was it i thought trump i'm gonna wake up trump won mm -hmm. it looks like biden's gonna win mm -hmm. he's just about to win yeah i'm just looking at the bar graph and it looks like it's close that's uh that's all i know which uh, bar graph are you looking at again <laughs> there's a google bar graph uh, once again this is why it's wrong you go to fox news's bar graph yasin <laughs> Because Fox News is not gonna op like uh, gonna pa paint like an optimistic picture for Joe Biden. Yeah, right. Okay, They're gonna okay. give him exactly as much as he it deserves. Okay, so you need to watch the opposition for the for the opposite. So, for example, you look, yeah, yeah. you look Fox yeah. for you to get Biden stuff, and then you look at whatever is left leaning for you to get. No, that's just skewed. I don't know. I don't understand. No, if if Fox says something about Biden and it's positive, yeah, it's probably undeniable. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you know what I mean, right, right, right. Yeah, that's, that's true. all. Okay, they're not gonna true. give him any states he doesn't deserve. They're not gonna project for him early, right? Because that would give him confidence or whatever the crap. Yeah, that's. But true. now we're there, dude. It's I happening. Like it. Yeah, it's happening. Like all they need is Nevada, and uh, that's it. Biden wins the election. Right. Okay. So here's what I'm not understanding: Is it willful ignorance 
that people are saying that it is it's rigged because all of a sudden there's like big jumps in like favor of Biden because there's mail-in ballots and mail-in ballots are speci- are predominantly uh, Democratic. And then they're just using that as like, it's a fixed rig election or do I know nothing? I haven't heard that from a grown up. I've heard that from children. You did? Yeah, children, <laughs> like basically somebody who has a, a disability where they can't get over. Yeah, nobody, everybody understands how these things work. Yeah, you right. get ballots in from different sources and they take different times to count. And some states don't even count them in the same order. Like, mm-hmm. so yeah, that's, this is all standard. And then, dude, there's like mad posts where it's like, oh, all of a sudden they got 118,000 votes for Biden. Huh? Isn't it? Yeah, and then, but it, you're, not, you're not seeing that on Google. You're yeah, seeing that true. on that's like true. Reddit or whatever meme Instagram. you go to. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah you're not. I'm on a that... meme. Pa- I'm a meme page. Yes, you were correct. Exactly. You're correct. You're, those are children. Because <laughs> yeah, well, Fox News would love to say that. Yeah. Like Fox News would love to say. Well, hey, the president this is, is saying that. Yeah, but nobody else is. So yeah, <laughs> the people that listen to the president are obviously children and all of rural America. Man. That's that's the crazy thing, dude. Yeah, it's all rural. But, you take you know, any state, mm-hmm. and it's uh, the main cities in there are always Democratic, and everything else is red. It's very interesting. Yeah, I've I've been watching also the Daily Show, like well, Instagram, like on Instagram TV, the Daily Show, and they had a they have a reporter that goes to just Trump rallies to um, to interview the people there, and I know what yeah. they're doing, right? You're going mm-hmm. you're going in, and then you're interviewing like twenty people. There might be a couple people there that's pretty smart. I think most people who had rallies, whichever function like whatever thing you're you're supporting they're mm-hmm. not really well informed they just like the overall thing and then yeah. over here whatever um so it's not easy to have like a one-on-one conversation but dude when they when the ones that they showed it's mm-hmm. it's crazy it's, oh yeah it's yeah. like this willful ignorance the the like they can't even see their own irony and mm-hmm. ov- obviously this reporter like the the the, the correspondent that um it's on the daily show He's a very quick-witted guy. He's he's yeah. really quick. He he knows how to like he he'll say like okay so you know you shouldn't be sheep and the guy's like yeah you know the, you know you should think for yourself you should do your own research and then they're like but did you read the transcripts about like the impeachment thing he's like no I I don't, I don't need to read it I I watched someone else read it he's like did you watch someone read the whole thing he's like no we don't have to he's like but you should do your own research right he's like yes we should do our mm-hmm. own research like the guy doesn't he can't even notice literally that this arg- this conversation is him pointing out his own hypocrisy. Hey man, Can't you're on TV. You're like, this is great. This guy seems to agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they prey on. Yo. This is what if you and me were there, we would literally look at people and we're like, this guy looks unstable. <laughs> 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 those yeah. shoes with those pants. <laughs> oh man, it's it's uh yeah, it's wild out there. But hopefully, let's see. I mean, at this point, you know what's crazy? At this mm. point, we just want someone who is like an evil we understand. Yeah. You know, I guess so. No, it's just like I want you to do. I, I know you're all about corruption, and you're gonna help yeah. the rich people, and you're gonna do this. I don't I, like Biden's not gonna be like doing crazy stuff, right? He's not gonna do anything. But I just want you to do it on the down low, a little bit quieter, yeah. right? Yeah. Make it seem like, you like you're a little do. low. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like you guys normally do. Right? You no, know, I just true. you know, I don't I don't want your I don't want blatant like clearly blinking or like winking to the kkk i want you to like it needs to be really underneath the whole thing like i don't want yeah. you to can't be so so on the surface it's really uncomfortable <laughs> i would say is like please just uh say it under your breath yeah <laughs> you know, just don't scream it just just say it under your breath please yeah, i'd really appreciate really it really messing with my vibe oh my god so funny you know anyways man it's hard to uh it's hard to agree. yeah one last thing i'll say about it and go somewhere yeah. else uh it's hard to enjoy anything we have a friend of uh, our, our mutual friend that says uh all of your favorites are problematic and essentially it just means i mean you know everyone is flawed all humans are flawed whatever right we so we we, we get that but there was a there's a there's a video of um obama at a at a gym and there's a ball mm-hmm. that's bouncing close to him so he picks it up shoots it drains mm-hmm. it Right. People are like, oh, okay, okay. And then he like yells back. He's like, that's what I do. And mm-hmm. you can get really happy. You're like, man, that's that was a cool president. And then the first comment underneath the video is uh, uh Obama didn't miss, but unfortunately, this many drones missed their mark and killed eighty-nine a hundred people in Afghanistan and whatnot. And you're like, 
Yeah, that's true though. <laughs> well, it's, I think you're gonna have to like say both. You have to say both. Yeah, you're like yeah. I I mean, also it's hard. It's hard. All of this, all you of can it. see how bad you can run it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. true. And and and, th- and this is when I saw that I was like the that was the realization. I'm like, your foreign policy is gonna be shit no matter who it is or whatnot. I just need someone who doesn't. It's not up to. It's not in my face. I thought you were gonna say I just need somebody who can make a three every now and then. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of nice, though, too. But, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, Trump is. can run again. So if he loses, he mm-hmm. can come back in four years and run again. Oh, as a seventy-nine-year-old. That's that's hope, man. He might be the only president that didn't look like he got older due to the pressures of being a president. Everyone looked like they aged ten years and four. This guy he looked like he got younger. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't look like he aged due to the pressure of time. He just, you know, like. Just, uh, but he's hands off from what I hear. He just like he tweets a lot. He doesn't go to all the meetings. You know? He ain't doing nothing, dude. The amount nah. of like there's a there's a website that's dedicated to just how much time he's on the golf course. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing it more than most presidents. But anyway. Let's um, see what happens. I just don't want the stock market to crash. Mm-hmm. Hopefully Biden wins and the stock market doesn't crash. That'd be good. Right, 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 right. Um, that's that's what I'm worried about. Here's another here's another thing, you know, um, mm-hmm. about gun ownership. Um, you know, if all of the right, mm-hmm. if all of Trump supporters decide to start fighting, they have all the guns. <laughs> I don't think you're right. You the Democrats I'm... have have all the minorities. The, 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 yeah, they have, have all, all the, the illegal machetes. Guns. <laughs> we have all the illegal guns, dude. We have all the nine millimeters. <laughs> no, man, I'm telling you, like all veterans, like everything, like mostly lean right. You can't, like, and 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 like. You know, liberals going out over here going like Antifa and whatnot. Dude, the rest of them are heavily yeah. armed. They're all preppers. They're ready to they're ready to live underneath their house for six months. Okay, they got they got nuclear bunkers. Yeah. You that's got true. nothing. <laughs> no, you've got a, a garden that's above ground. Yeah. That's what you have. That's, that's what it true, is. You, actually. You have a community garden and you have like some bees because you're 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 thinking of beekeeping. These people have guns guns. They have rifles, they have all the they have stuff that works. So really, um, I mean, I'm just putting it out there. I'm not saying mm-hmm. that you should purchase guns. I'm just saying that the other side really have all the good guns yeah i would say purchase a gun if you know how to use a gun or want to learn how to use a gun get a gun yeah to hunt i official no, whatever, statement for protection official statement for uh i i really don't understand how so people are so anti-gun they don't want a gun no i don't, I don't either i don't want a gun but right. if i want a gun i'll just go get a gun i don't have like a moral stance against me having a gun sometimes yeah. like my sister gets all like you would have a gun because she's in texas and she hates right. guns yeah which is uh, weird. Like, yeah. Move out of Texas. Like, oh, is that no, the question they ask you when they're like, "You want to live in Texas, dude?" Where there are seventeen good places in the states. Yeah. She's in Austin, Texas. Yeah. Like, there's only so many Austin, Texases in all of the U.S. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, like, how's the weather in Austin, Texas? It's nice. Yeah, is it hot? It's hot. hot. Is it? It's like it's yeah, like it's, desert hot. It's like a dry heat. It's uh, it's hot as Texas, but none of Texas is really dry because it's uh, by the Gulf of Mexico, so it's a humid heat. Oh, it's humid. Plus, uh, there's a lake that runs through it. It's a very fit city. Mm. Uh, fit. Like a, yeah, people run, they kayak, they swim. In Texas, they, isn't that where all the fat people are? That's uh, that's other cities. Oh, okay, not Austin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I like how you just stereotype a whole state. You're like, why are these Mexicans? I'm like, those are just tan people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I. You know what? You're not wrong about any of those things that you said. Those are the first things you would assume about all of it. Right. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. No, but Austin's like uh, very liberal, uh, very progressive, democratic governor, I believe. So that's for most of the the cities mm-hmm. in Texas have a democratic democratic governor. That are the big cities. Right. 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 Okay. Well, it's the well, weirdest thing. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have a my political. Yeah, you can't have a. If you if you need a gun, get a gun. Yeah, if you need a gun, you get a gun. Yeah. You're just waiting for. Oh, did you see? Uh, apparently, some uh, king in uh, Abu Dhabi. What are they? Whatever. They just rich Arab, yeah. ri- very I mean, very rich, <laughs> rich Arab. Uh, got his uh, got an in uh, his the vaccine, the COVID vaccine. Oh. He got it. Apparently, it's one from uh, from China. Which I mean, oh. like I mean, no one's 
you know, they knew about the vi- they knew about the virus well before the entire world knew, and even when the yeah. world knew, they were like, not us. So I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure they would have a like they had a head start working on the vaccine. So apparently, yeah, it's a vaccine from China, and he and, mm-hmm. he, and he and he got it. I mean, Good for him, yeah. And the thing is, it's not like <laughs> he's touching everything. <laughs> he's just outside. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Have you seen that 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 place of worship somewhere in? middle east i think no. where they lick the uh they, they they're they licking the metal it's like this oh, shrine no. thing and they're just looking at <laughs> that's not good and they're like this will cure covid like if you have covid you lick it mm-hmm. you're gonna be fine and there was some place in india where it, they were saying uh you drink urine mm-hmm. and it's gonna help you uh fight uh covid and then, oh, and then people were, tr- were were like sharing that around. And apparently, during the Mars no MERS outbreak, mm-hmm. whatever Marsa, thank yeah. you. Uh, that's the Middle Eastern respiratory uh, thing. Hey man, uh, all I know is MERS. <laughs> and uh, and uh, apparently, there was a video of a dude holding up a, a, a glass of uh, of uh, uh, urine, camel pee. Yeah, Ooh. And he's like this. <laughs> This is good for you, like, and he chugs it back in. Try, try I like, down, so, I yeah. like all of those options. Those are cost effective. You're mm. not hurting anybody. That's the camel true. doesn't mind. It's just pee. Apparently, you can drink pee without any issues. Yeah, you know what else you can do? Not. <laughs> I mean, not you could also it. you could also not do it. Um, you, who's that guy who's like survive, um, adapt, survive? Uh, mm. He's like a survivor, like extreme burrs. No, something. Oh, Bear Giles, yeah, or Giles Bear, some, or something. Some, some, something like that, right? <laughs> something but, ludicrous, right? He was, wasn't he doing like a thing in India? Um, and he was talking to uh, the president over there, Modi. And, yeah, and 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 they like they picked up like he picked up like uh, uh, elephant dung, and he's like the oh. water from the elephant dung, it, you can drink it, you know, if you, if <laughs> if you <laughs> if you're in a bad spot and all you can see is elephant dung. You're like, yo, I need a glass of water quick times. You can take this elephant dung and then like hold it over your head and like squish it and you can drink right. that water. Yeah. So, I mean, like just letting you know in case you ever what get What an asshole. Situation. You know, as soon as he learned that, he's like, I'm going to show somebody this and shock the shit out of them. Because like even people in third world countries like, no, 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 don't do that, dude. You can have my last water. What are you doing? Please. Yeah, Bear Grylls, Bear Grylls, uh, dung juice. Uh, here we go. Wow, that's. It's a, it's forty seconds long. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh. Let me send that to you real quick. Jeez, I'm like, yeah, send it. I'm like looking already. Uh, let me pull that up, and I'm gonna put it on this screen. There we go. All, All right, right, let me know when you play. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. I'll just bring it back to the beginning. Uh, one, two, three, go. In hot climates, if you try to walk in the heat of the day with no water, you may last only no more seconds, than four huh? hours. Yeah. But if it's a choice between life and death, there's a survival this trick I'll show you. An old ranger has water. <laughs> One thing you can do if you're stuck out here with no water source at all right is actually drink the fluid oh, from man. a fresh elephant dung. Pretty disgusting, but it could save your life. But it could save your life. Then. Ah! Man, you know that's getting on his face and his nostril. Oh man! Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, pieces Yo, are falling. It's a real One last piece, resort. Piece of shit almost there can be harmful mouth. bacteria in that water. But if I you have nothing else to drink, when that big piece of shit just hit him on the chin, I was like, I'm done. I don't Not one of the better drinks I've ever had. All right, so I kind of got so grossed out, I, I pressed the X in the wrong uh, in the wrong spot there. Yeah, I threw yeah. my phone down when I when that shit fell. I was just like, that's I'm done. Oh, I hit his, I did you see? Oh man! But at the end, he like co- goes down on his knees and his elbows, and he's like. There's some harmful, harmful bacteria, but if it's a question between life or death, this might save your life. This Who's guy's doing a whore. This? <laughs> this guy is, uh, he's just really earning his money down there, and I don't appreciate it. Oh, I mean, show better, better options. There has I, to be a better option than do that. You, do Come you on. think? Do you think so? I think wasn't there a story about a guy um, who's who's doing an? Uh, he, he he rented out a jeep for him to you know go in the Serengeti or somewhere. And then the Jeep breaks down and they don't know which direction is home. So the only way that they can figure out is uh, because it's him and another person in the car, in, in the truck. Mm. And then they have to walk in opposite directions. Hopefully one of you be- will make it. And essentially yeah. um, he went as far as he could and he couldn't see anything further. And he's like, maybe I should go back to the car so that I can 
stay like have some shelter and then mm. hopefully someone can see me he, he went back the other person eventually found a village or something and was able to save him but he was like on death's door oh man i thought somebody was going to get eaten in that a hundred percent yeah that's true i I'm, i don't okay you gotta go sorry just plugging in just had to plug that in man you had something to plug in yeah okay yeah the ba- the laptop fell right. out oh okay okay um yeah what was i saying uh, yeah, so I don't know if that's an actual true story or if it's a movie. So Well, it doesn't seem that spectacular. So, so yeah, yeah, true story. It could be a true story. <laughs> like, a true story, All right, fair enough. Like, I went that way and I couldn't find it, so I came back, but my buddy, well, he, he got there. That sounds yeah. like a true story. <laughs> that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. Speaking of true stories, my friend, mm-hmm. I watched a new movie uh, on Netflix called Papillon. I don't know if you Ooh. saw. It's our Is guy. French? Uh, yes, it is French. It's a okay. French word for butterfly. And apparently the papillon is a, uh, I think it's a, it's a, a symbol for a thief, a thief. Um, okay. It's based on a true story of a French thief. And it's played by, um, uh, what's his name? Charlie Hunnam? Hunnam? Our guy. Okay, um, I like that guy. Sons of, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Pacific yeah. Rim. Yeah. Um, he, dude can't walk normal. He always needs to walk like he's just going to like, yeah. so cool. Even when he's a, when, even when he's a prison, when he's a prison, a prisoner, I'm like, man, you, you gotta, you can walk just a different way. You look like you, you're way too confident. <laughs> you're about to die anyway. So it's about a, a true story about this dude who's a safe cracker, okay, um, and then gets framed for a murder. And back mm-hmm. then, in whatever I don't know, 60s, 40s, or France, they used to send you to a penal colony in a different country, in Australia. This place, uh, no, not this one. Uh, this one, wow. they sent him in like South America, oh, and man. like it's on a, it's like a, on an island or something, or it's just completely surrounded by jungle. So even if you make a break for it, you have to survive jungle or the sharks. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're stuck, and uh, he actually that's, gets out. That's when you know you're in a first world country. Like you do something wrong, we'll send you a, to a third world country. You're like, oh shit, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Is that good? Who directed that? Um, I don't know who directed it. It's okay. <clears throat> it's it's okay. okay. I mean, yeah. Right. I mean, uh, if you like the actor, um, also Remy Rami, Rami, Rami Malik. Malik. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. in that. He's in that movie too. So you got like, solid like guys. is that an actor or is that somebody I know? Is that my friend? Rami, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's is exactly. That my friend? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Rami or is that Hamid's last name? I can't tell. You know. uh, it's so true. That's exactly what I was going for. All right. So, um, yeah. So, uh, you know, we like the actor. So, have a look. Have a look. See, you might uh, yeah. you might find that you might find that fun. Yeah, it was good it's movie. good to find like actors you like in a in a movie. Mm-hmm. I I enjoy that. Yeah. Um, we're watching Scrubs and all these like Colin Farrell is in an episode and my wife is like she's never seen Scrubs. She's mm-hmm. like, oh my god, Courtney Cox, Colin Farrell, Brendan Fraser. Just random people jump in and out. The, the Brendan Fraser arc, that was tough. That was a that was a tough one. Yeah. Great soundtrack to his death, mm. you know, in my opinion. <laughs> what was it? Joshua Radden mm-hmm. was the singer, and there were two songs. One was called Winter. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the one that played when he died. Mm-hmm. Uh and that's a great song. Not nothing okay. by the fray. That came much later. They had oh, a lot man. Of fray. oh man, I remember the fray. Mm. Dude. Yeah, I want to listen to a song right after this. Okay, how to save a life? Oh, That's where you start. There's a yeah. they had a lot of good songs. They did, they did. So what? They were they were well after Lighthouse, right? Yeah, yeah, they were well life. They were like a precursor to like a a better soulful Imagine Dragons or some shit. I don't okay. know. Okay, okay. But yeah, those guys Man. were great. I like the fray. Fray. I don't know what happened. Let me like yeah. I'm just gonna Google them real quick. Let's find yeah. out what happened over here. Who okay, died? so they they were big big in two thousand and two. Up until present, apparently they're 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 still together. Um, and then they released this. They released their last album was in two thousand and thirteen. Yeah, that's long ago. Yeah, they need to they need to get some work in. Get something. the band back together. Yeah, in September two thousand sixteen released. Uh, so the last thing they did was in two thousand and sixteen. So Lord knows what uh, what's going on over there. Mm. Mm. But anyway, yo, NBA might be coming back next month. Uh, yeah, that's a little too soon. Uh, for you. <laughs> sorry, oh, I got mean. I was like, for your dumb ass. I was like, sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, let them have Christmas. 
That's right? what LeBron says. Yeah, that's what LeBron says. So this is how it works. The NBA has a 49-51% split between owners and players. 49 to 51 split. Profit. A profit well, split. Can you okay. imagine the UFC, the fighters, getting 49 or 50% of the profit of the owners? That would be amazing. That would... Yeah, I can't even imagine. But the NBA has that deal where the players get basically the same amount the owners get. So if they start on December, they get that Christmas money. Yeah. And some of the players wanted a January start. It's a $500 million difference. What? Wait, wait. If you play, if you start in, in December, December, you make $500 million more? More as a uh, the NBA salary cap for yeah. each team okay, is gotcha, higher. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So you spread that with the players and whatnot. So it's interesting. Because yeah, the players so then it, vote on it. They get so together on Zoom. And everybody votes on it. So maybe LeBron should hush. That dude already has all the money. That's the reason why he wants Christmas. Oh, the yeah, rest of these exactly. people are trying to. The rest of these people are trying to make that money. <laughs> yeah, LeBron's like, let's just have Christmas. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've got two Blaze Pizza. You know, like whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. I wonder if Blaze Pizza is good. I wonder if any of these like specialty. So here, this is what you like about a Blaze Pizza. Number one, um, it's about fifteen bucks for a pie, but it's unlimited toppings. You do not get this to order. You go there, okay? Mm. So you get there. It's one type of dough or two types of dough. Mm. But whatever cheese you want, you got cheddar, mozzarella, goat cheese, some like random cheeses that you haven't heard of. Mm -hmm. You get the sauces, four or five different types of sauces. You can do all of them. You can do all of them. Yeah, it's I have gotten go four different sets of cheeses. Okay, that's um, fine. Vegetables, meats. Also, I believe their beef is halal mm. on the Dundas location on Ninth Line, which is Wait. I know a bit... But that's here. I thought this was when you were in United no, no, States no, no, or something. No. Okay. Dude, there's a Blaze Pizza by the Best Buy uh on on Dundas just west of Winston Churchill. Okay. So okay. that's yeah, yeah. It, it's it's the meatballs are halal. That's what's halal. And my mom told me that. I'm like, how'd you know? And she said the internet. I was like, Plugged what? In. I didn't in. even know you know about the internet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's it's not bad, man. It's not very big, but for fifteen dollars in one person, you'll you'll feel good and just go up on the toppings. Also, you feel like, you know. You gave LeBron some money. I don't know. It just makes you feel you know, like next time I yell Contributing at to the king or something. All right, <laughs> something. fair enough. Um, I recently made a, another uh, a pizza discovery of my own. A pizza uh, discovery of your own. Vito's Pizza and Wing, which is on Wolfdale, close to the Istikama. I don't know for Muslim yeah. people and how they know ge geography based around mosques. Um, so yeah, it's close by over here. Uh, they make the dough in-house every morning. So uh, mm -hmm. that's cool. It's not frozen dough. Tastes great. And here's the other thing. When you get your wings, it's an oven-baked wing, and they don't put the sauce in there. They give you the sauce separate. So you can lather the sauce if you want when you're home. You can throw the stuff in the oven, reheat it. If, if you want it like really hot, throw it in your sauce. But you can just do the dip. Man, I, uh, I'm, so, I'm so happy. I found a place. It's much better than Domino's, all the other places cool. that I've been going through right now. So that's that. I like good pie, man. Yeah. No, yeah. I like that. That's a good shout. And it's a uh, and and the crust is similar to Pizza Hut, but it doesn't give you a headache because of the sheer amount of oil that Pizza Hut puts in their stuff. I'm at Pizza Hut the other day, and I'm yeah. picking. So it comes out of the you know they put it in a thing, and it comes yeah. out the other side. Yeah. He gets it out. He takes the aerosol can, shakes yeah, it, <laughs> and he sprays the rim. Yeah. You know what and that is? He didn't, he didn't, what is it? What it's the equivalent. Okay, it's the equivalent of when girls go on talk shows, like actresses and whatnot. They go on a talk show. You go to like mm -hmm. late night with Letterman or whatever. And you know how their legs are super, super shiny? Yeah. Right? You yeah. Can, you, like you can see a reflection because they spray that shiny stuff on their leg. So they look good. And it's the same thing. You dre she, they're dressing up their shins and mm -hmm. Pizza Hut is dressing up the, uh, the, the crust. The crust. Yeah. Because nobody cares about crust or shins. Actually, I, I don't know. I'm sure some guys care about shins. I mean, here's the thing. Yeah, what's the thing? You you can't not care about shins. Let me let me put it to you this way. You you can kind of be indifferent, but the shins connect the rest of like like the feet to to the knees. Right. So yeah, you're going <laughs> you need you need to you need to have some care of, uh, uh, about it, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna let you just keep going. I'm gonna I don't know. I, got rope, <laughs> I also like it. Like the shins are important. Say it. They connect the ankles to the knees. <laughs> Say it without shins. Where would you be? Down here? I was just like, <laughs> like how you... <laughs> yeah. I agree, dude. I agree. Yeah, they do good. definitely serve a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus. 
Jeez. <laughs> anyway, uh, crusts. So Pizza Hut cares about the crust. They do care about that. They wouldn't tell me what's. I'm like, what is that? And the guy would just pretend not to speak English. <laughs> I'm like, you just took my order, man. You knew everything. Yeah. Man, Pizza if, Hut. Uh, I know you know this a little bit. Like, if when people go to space and they're there for a long time, their body starts changing. Yeah. Right. They, they start like losing. Reduce, yeah, they reduce the density of their bones and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they pee out their basically their urine is used to get, basically get calcium out of their body. Like all of their skeletal structure reduces, and they and a bunch of like skin things change as well. Mm. And uh, where was I going with this? Something to do with shins. Oh shit! Eh. Oh, and I man. was just like, what? Uh, no, I'm just. I was. I was on board. I, I like. A I good was just space, thinking, like, uh, if you stay joke. stay long enough, do you need shins? <laughs> but that, that was like, was that your thought? I'm like, yeah, that was your thought. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because I was just like, you know, if you spend people up there for a few generations, what are you left with? Right. Here's no what I don't understand. Just like, yeah. oh, it was so difficult for them to, basically one way for you to be able to maintain your, your bone density is that you, you compress, right? So you like, mm -hmm. like you need load bearing and because you don't have the, you don't have a, first of all, how come they can't have a spinny thing? Like every space movie you got, it's got a big ring mm -hmm. and then they spin it around the axis and then this is where the, this is where the gravity is. How come they're not making that? I don't know. You've been to like the Wonderland ride where they like you you get against yeah, you're the stuck wall against and they the spin wall? you? Yeah. How fast do you have to spin to like simulate some level of gravity? Oh, uh, whatever is equal to the downforce of 9.8 meters per second squared or something. I'm freaking engineers, right man. Started giving me an actual answer. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like you'd have to spin really fast. I feel like it'd be too much. Uh, no, but if, if it's big, it doesn't, yeah. it, you know, it wouldn't, you wouldn't have to, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like a, like a Beyblade. It, mm. it, 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 you know, it'll, it'll, it'll spin, it'll look like it's spinning slowly because it's bigger and is a bigger moment arm, some other technical stuff. Yeah. But I think what I'm trying to say is this, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they, they've done so much, but they can't get, they can't do a spinning thing to create gravity in the space station, which is an international space station, by the way. So like everyone, mm. everyone pitched in, um, I just feel like uh, you know if you may if you put less money towards building stuff that kills people, mm -hmm. and you could just make cooler stuff. Also, why is Elon not working on this? We should. Send That's ex email. all I was thinking. I was like, well, if someone's gonna do it, international seems even worse. Because yeah. then, like, Russia would be like, I get dizzy, mm -hmm. and you're like, you can't do it now because Russia's like, you know, I get dizzy. You know, you know what our contribution is, eh? Uh, we got the arms, Canada, Can Canada, I'm like on the space station. We oh, got, we made like, the, arms. the arms and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So be, be, I think that might even be on the five dollar bill. It just goes uh, to show that you haven't seen a five dollar bill in a long time. I think that's what it is. Um, I wouldn't realize that's an arm on there. You know, like, yeah, well, like what is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's that. Was so Canada got to do better than an arm? Do yeah. It's time to do a a, a spinny thing. A spinny thing, guys. Somebody needs to do a spinny thing. So speaking of Elon Musk, he confirmed what type of governance would happen in Mars. Oh man! Yeah, because uh, I think the question came up. Hold on, Elon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mars, Mars government. Tippity tippity tap. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, he thinks the best government for Mars is a direct democracy. Hold on a second. Um, <laughs> uh, so okay, most likely it would be a form of a form of government that would be direct democracy, not representative. So it would be uh, people voting directly voting on directly. issues. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that's probably better because potential for corruption substantially diminished in a direct versus a representative. So he's given like some serious thought on what they're trying well, to do. Well, that's there. like, yeah, but that's like, that's the that's best democracy. Everybody yeah. knows that's the best. It's like, we should all make the decision. And like, yeah, if you're all should smart enough. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you're all bright enough to make decisions. But I guess if you're sending people to Mars, they're probably not stupid. Right. Yeah, that's true. Wait, you think that non-stupid people are in Mar uh, will be in Mars? On Mars? I, I think they shouldn't send them there. I think they should test everybody. And you have to like be able to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And then they send you. And like, yeah, if you if you have any bad genes, they just send you back. You know? If you're not like a f fast study, they're mm -hmm. like, I'm sorry, guys, we're on Mars. This is a direct democracy. You might screw things up. That's true. Okay, I agree with you on that. Um, this reminds me of a show that I tried watching and failed. Mm. Uh, it's called Lost in Space. It's on Netflix, right? And yeah. I, I will try every sci-fi. I love sci-fi. But the problem is, is the, the um, 
it's easier, it's much easier for them to get it wrong to get right when you talk about sci-fi, right? Uh, dude, uh, so essentially something's happening in the world. They all got to be on a space station and, you know, now they're, now they got lost on the planet. So the concept mm -hmm. you think is going to be really fun. It's yeah. so written so badly. All right. So let me, let me, we're bringing back the, the, the gun thing, but I'm, I'm upset about this. So I'm going to bring it back. Um, so essentially they land on an, on a planet and there's animals, there's, they, they, they witness a robot. They've seen all types of things, right? You have, you don't know what's going on over here. And they have a 3D printer. And this printer allows you to print like anything, like multiple types of material. So you could print a gun, right? Hmm. And this, and it's a family that lands there. The dad is a Navy SEAL. Okay, like head on show. And he's saying, we need a gun so we can protect ourselves. And his mm -hmm. wife, okay, who's a scientist, mm -hmm. uh, is like, you know how I feel about guns in the home? <laughs> oh my God. Are they oh on another planet? Yes, they're on another planet, undocumented. They've never been there before. This is like, they crash landed on that on the thing. There's, there's definitely stuff that's going to eat you. And somehow these writers espouse liberal like th <laughs> like this guy is a trained soldier give him yeah. a gun <laughs> also this lady has kids there and i think she's a doctor or something but she has kids there you'd be she, like yeah they're kill, married whatever and she's got three yeah, yeah she's got three kids <laughs> she might as well be like you know i'm really tired of two of these <laughs> you know that's what, that's what i'm trying to say here is uh this is how we feel about lives. guns <laughs> you know <laughs> a lot of mouth to feeds here lost in space you oh, seen man. the original movie no i haven't is it good dude matt leblanc matt is, leblanc is in a is lost... one of the main is one of the main characters mm -hmm. and this movie knocked off titanic off the number one spot matt leblanc lost in space i also feel like somebody from harry potter is in there like one of the professors uh okay heather graham is in here william hurt mimi rogers gary oldman is in this gary oldman is in there yeah 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 good movie don't even read it anymore just download it it's 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 by when you get done watching it you're like huh space movie it's okay. good it's not bad it's not bad it's okay. not as bad as the show okay okay yeah this show is horrible this was directed by a guy named stephen hopkins who also mm -hmm. did predator 2 you know some people you know, it is what it yeah. is. Yeah, this is Matt LeBlanc. Uh, I think peaking in his movie career. By the way, that, this probably that was the highest that man ever. This gone. is, I think, this is after Friends. It's his first like movie, mm -hmm. and then knocked off Titanic off the number one spot. So that's pretty but amazing. Also, but also, like Titanic was there for like over. I think it was just ready to, yeah, give it to somebody. It was on but, its way. It was on its way. Yeah, out. yeah. It wasn't so much that it knocked Titanic. It was Titanic, Titanic gave way to. That's true. That's ooh. I, I like your like. <laughs> Who dares take a pee right now? <laughs> I'm talking to my friend. Don't. I'm recording. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give somebody a piece of my mind. When I'm done. Um, so you sent me an interesting video. Oh, which one did I send you? Okay, so it's, uh, it's, in, it's in a shopper's drug mart. Yeah. That happened this mart. week, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's yeah. in a shopper's drug mart. And this lady who is crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, for whatever reason, we don't know what's the context. Start stepping towards one of the one of the people who work there works there. Mm -hmm. um, and for context, uh, the lady who works there is Asian. Yeah. Um, and this lady, so this 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 aggressor, she starts going haya haya haya, and she's doing like chops and looks like she's about to kick, but it's very bad form. But whatever. Mm -hmm. And then. And she's doing this to the Asian Shoppers Drug Mart's employee, right? And uh, she says, I know you know Kung Fu, but I know as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. I know. I, I thought all of this was awesome, by the way. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, at first, it's all okay because you know this is not like a racial. This is a crazy person act. This is not this a racist. Yeah. yeah, this is a crazy person, right? Because yeah. she's saying hiya. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just like, who's you aren't actually angry if you're saying hi. <laughs> she seemed pretty uh, upset for some. She did seem pretty upset. Also, she wasn't the Asian wearing a mask, lady, so maybe. Yeah, the Asian lady had no retort. She's just like trying to sidestep, get out of the way. She had no head movement. No um, head movement. She, she nothing. Obviously, had no no martial arts training whatsoever. 
No, yeah. whatsoever. I would love to see that happen. Especially, I mean, I wouldn't even intervene. I just watch it because there's nothing really dangerous happening. You think so? No, and at this point right now, no. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what we saw, yeah, what we saw, it was just people I think that's like it, walking towards each other, and then eventually, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't if somebody was hitting like somebody, I'd definitely be like, hey, please stop mm. it. You know, I've done that much. That's as many. Uh, you normally don't need to do more, but mm -hmm. I've never seen anybody like just be like, she knows martial arts. It's okay. I know martial arts too. <laughs> so we can, we can take this battle outside. Uh, she just says it. And everybody in the comments were like, this woman is racist. I'm like, no, she's crazy. What are you stupid? She's not racist. She's definitely she's more insane. crazy than, yeah, more crazy yeah. than racist. Also, <clears throat> I don't know how I feel. Uh, like, uh, you know what? Here, Okay, here's the thing. I can't, I can't put this on anyone else. I'm just going to say for myself, okay? Okay. Um, you know, every time we go to Mauritius, uh, the, the, the elders, you know, the uncles and whatnot, uh, they'll do like one or two big dinners. And the dinners are essentially just biryani, right? Mm. We do, it's like, oh, that's what Mauritians like. And they all do the prep themselves, right? The uncles, are, you know, they do the spice, the mix, they do all of the stuff. And then I was realizing that there is no, no young person in my generation or whatever that knows how to make biryani the way how the elders do. If they die, like biryani dies with them. And that's yeah. a problem. Like all we know how to do is order fast food, yeah. right? And I was thinking to myself, you know, if they did, if that happened, it came to a point where someone was looking at you, looking at me and they say, oh, you've seen you like biryani. Do you know how to cook it? And I don't know how to cook it. I feel like that's a shame on me mm, as a I person. Agree. Yeah. <clears throat> right? Because it's one of those things where it's like, Mauritians and then the big thing is biryani. So it's it's one of those things. It's also like, do you like seafood? Because you know, whatever, you live on an island. So do do like with this lady at the end of the day, right? A Shoppers Drug Mart employee, does she feel the same way about not knowing martial arts? Hmm. Right? Because like your culture has like has so many different styles, right? right? You can have weaponry, you can have empty hand combat, you can get wrestling, you can get, there's so many things for you to choose from. And yeah. it's, you know, it's, 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 it's infused in your culture. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you let yourself down? Because I, I feel like I would. We, next Asian guest we have, we have to ask, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we have to ask. Secondly, this is what I think they would, they were like, this shit ain't non bread. <laughs> it's like, I don't, you only fight when you need, like, not everybody knows. <laughs> At some point, they, they would say something like that. You know, like, but, like but whatever, there was a martial arts that was specific to Pakistan and you didn't know it. Like, someone stepped to you yeah, and you're like, yeah, that's true. You know, someone stepped to you and you had like a weird thing, but you didn't have any confidence. You don't have like a, you don't know how to fight. And yeah. then people look at you and be like, but your ancestors. It's true. Imagine if like, uh, you know, something happened and somebody is like, shit, you know, I need somebody to. No, that's a stereotype. I just, I realized by the end of this joke, I'd be a racist because all but you that, can do is. This is a, this is kind of a thought where it walks the line, I think. It's true. It's true. I, you know, so that's why I didn't put it on on the lady. I was just saying no, me true. personally. I understand Briani and but uh, fighting. Almost is different. never do I like see an Asian guy and mm -hmm. be like, "Oh shit, he might know martial arts." That's never almost occurred to me, which is mm -hmm. surprising, right? You right. would think when you see Asian people, because all of the martial arts that come out of Asia, yeah, you would think that we would have that stereotype, right. like Asian people fight. Like nobody thinks that though. That's true. Um, yeah, but they don't, they don't like you know. It's not like overly aggressive people, right? It is like you don't, yeah. you know, you don't see like if this, you know, if, let's say you know you go to a bar in in Toronto, mm -hmm. good mixed demographic, mm -hmm. right? And then a fight breaks out. Yeah, you kind of know who's gonna be in it. You know drunk who's gonna people. be in the fight and who's not. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mostly drunk people. But mostly like, drunk people. You know, you kind of know. You can kind of know expect what what you're gonna see. If you yeah. if you just see like two Asian dudes, you'd be like, wow. <laughs> They're fighting? Yeah. And they're fighting with those cats? You know what the Asian <laughs> thing is? Never, like, even generally, if I, like, am walking and I notice there's an Asian person behind me, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, good. Almost anything else in Toronto, I'm just like, oh, now I got to look back every four seconds, you know? It's, it is interesting. What about Brown Uncle? I feel like Brown Uncle is also just equally not uh, Might be crazy, though. Might be crazy. Yeah? Yeah, yeah Asian people... They're easier to spot if they're crazy. Asian people dress well. 
So, like, if they're crazy, they generally don't dress. You know, that's the weird thing about that video, because that lady who hit the Asian lady, the lady's dressed like a normal person. She's completely normal. She looks, she, she, yeah. They uh, should make crazy people wear, like, a hat. I don't, I think, uh, like I think a they hat? do that. I think they call, it's a dunce cone. Yeah, and a, and a fan on top of it. <laughs> you know, like one of the ones that spins. <laughs> that way you know there's no excuse. That's true. Yeah, like, that person's obviously crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and the crazy person is like, I'm a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly. Well, I'm a helicopter. Yeah. Sorry. Do, All right. Do, I'm do, sorry, man. I don't no, know how I'm, I got you, to your butt. No, no. I was uh, I was just saying, do you know anything else? Uh, do you know any follow up with regards to this Kung Fu Shoppers drug mart lady? No, nah, they didn't catch her. Uh, they didn't like, catch her? I think she just left. And like, what are you going to see if they caught her? <laughs> this was on Blog T.O. Kung Fu. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think they caught her. I think she left, and like the description that we have is very vague. Maybe and also, like I don't know. At some point, like I want that lady to, you know, fix herself. But I don't know if she needs to be in jail. I mean, you know, some community service. But yeah, you again, shouldn't hit people. Yeah, you shouldn't hit yeah. people. That's not. That's not right. Yeah. My problem is, like, I look at it from a damage perspective. I'm like, she's not doing any damage. It's like UFC rules. I'm like, she's not really hurting her. You know, like, yeah, but she's hitting her. Yeah, I'm yeah like, she, the, those are blocked. You don't know what type of anxiety this lady, the lady that she did that to. You that know? lady was so stupid in the way she, I'm not trying to blame the victim. But I was like, dude, you got, you got to defend yourself. This lady's right. hitting you as you're like. Eh, just See, that's hit. exactly what I'm saying. Maybe this is the thing. She's like, she enrolls, yeah. she enrolls into a. She's like, don't nobody is going to assume that I know Kung Fu, and right. I don't. <laughs> this lady's probably going to kill a person in two weeks. Somebody's going to look at her funny. She's been training hard for three weeks. Yo, you know what is the coolest thing in Kung Fu movies, in martial arts mm. movies, bro? Bah. Right? You think, okay, obviously the grand payoff uh, somewhere at the end of the movie is when that person will then fight 10 people, and yeah. then eventually the, like the, boss, the boss fight at the end. Right, yeah. where he's like yeah. broken and beaten, but still ekes out a win. I mean, we get that. That's cool. But the other cool thing that's fun about a kung fu movie is when the person starts their their journey in martial arts and the stuff that they do to harden themselves. You know, mm. so like you take a you take coal, you light it on fire, and then you punch it, or you like put your hands in the coal to like beat up your hands and you make your make your uh, your knuckles hard. Right, or you can do like Jean Claude Van Damme, where you like sit on a table and they they tie two ropes to your legs and they force you to do splits because that's really useful. <laughs> that part. So I'm assuming I'm just I'm just thinking about this lady going through like the initial. That's that's gonna be cool. I hope she. That's gonna it. be cool. Yeah, I yeah, hope, hope she, she flocks it. I hope she comes back strong. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, man. Is there anything else? What do you got? No, you got that was fun. Else? No, uh, I got. Uh, I'm going cottaging tomorrow. So, oh yes, that's why we're recording on a Thursday. That's why we're recording on a Thursday. That's Where why you going? I'm going to uh, Aurelia. Okay, just a four person cottage with uh, our friend Hamid. Speaking mm -hmm. of Hamid, Hamid knows how to make biryani. I've seen H Hamid make biryani for sixteen people. Sixteen like, people biryani. A big pot, like mm. the type where you're like, I got, I got to do math to make that much food. Right, exactly. Just cutting yeah. up tomatoes. Putting green stuff in there, he made it uh, all. I was very, very surprised. That is impressive. Also, like, what did you do? Hang out with him for eight hours? Doesn't it take a long time to make it? Yeah, it took like six hours to make. This is what we should do. We're we're getting decent with meat. We know how to deal with like fish and meat, but we got to know how to make a dish, dish like a traditional. Yeah, because know. right now it's like you take it, you marinate it, you put it on some fire, and you sit down and you eat it. That's and basically I, what I've got. People so far. like it though. I like it still, oh, I do but like, like it still. Uh, That's great. but. I want to have the sophistication of no. something with more than three ingredients, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All my marinades, salt, pepper, and avocado oil. Yeah. That <laughs> is good, like, though. Mm, yeah. Mm. All right, so cool. Uh, all right, so you will learn how to do uh, biryani with, with Hamid over the weekend uh, and <laughs> okay. then report back. Uh, <laughs> please feel free to do other crazy things at your uh, thing so that um, we'll have stuff to talk about. Sounds good. This has been episode 260 of Crash and Flow. Thank you very much for hanging with us. We'll be back in a week. Take care of yourselves. Good night. Go.